Dribble thumbnails. Now, Dribble sometimes gets hate because of the designers that use these crazy sort of thumbnails to feature projects. But you have to remember, these are just kind of like cover letters on a resume. They're not meant to be handed off to the actual client. They're just a way to present the UI in an interesting fashion. And there's what I've identified six different ways that I'm going to show you with examples that you can do just that. Now, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Now, wait one moment. If you're interested in UI design and perhaps reaching the front page of dribble.com, make sure to check out my UI design bootcamp at scrimba.com. At scrimba, you don't just watch videos. No, no, no. You're actually able to modify code in the browser while you learn. My course on UI design features over 100 lessons that are specifically tailored to help you become an awesome UI designer, and they're packed with interactive challenges. So make sure to click on the very top link here in the YouTube description. You're going to get access to my UI design bootcamp along with many other courses for a low, low monthly fee. All right, the plain Jane. Now, this is the first one, and it is basically just showing the UI design itself in the dribble thumbnail. And that is it. I mean, it's a full frontal. It's unadulterated. It's this example, for instance. It is just the full user interface that is here in Dribble. Here's another example. And that's it. I mean, you this is they're showing you exactly what you get with your UI. It's the plain Jane. Next up after that is the white space. Now, much like the plain Jane, the white space comprises the thumbnail pretty much solely of the actual UI design. However, they give a little bit of white space around the edges of the actual user interface. So much the same, these are all very similar, very good designs. There's just some white space around it, all right? So that's, that's one level up in terms of presenting a UI. Next up after this is what I call the Photoshop layers. And that is because these individuals take elements either the entire user interface itself, uh, different pages, um, and kind of stack them up on top of each other, sometimes with or without shadows. Um, and then even sometimes even components of an actual UI. Like look at these little cards. They're just floating off here on the side of the, this user interface. Clearly, we have no clue where these things actually reside <laughs> in the UI itself. But you know what? That looks cool. Here's another example. Look at this. Imagine handing this to like a client. They're going to be confused. But of course, we have to remember context here. This isn't what you would hand to a client say, hey, what do you think about the website? This is for presentation purposes. So you have to keep that in mind. Next up is the tilt shift. All right. So I'm sure you've all seen this. It's where we simply just either skew and or rotate the UI or a series of the pages and the designs that are comprised of that UI. So here's one that just kind of takes the whole thing, you take it into Photoshop, you tilt it, or you skew it rather, and then you get the tilt shift effect. Here's another example. I'm sure we've all seen them like this. And these look really cool actually. I mean, for the purpose purely of just like presenting your work um, in a thumbnail format, it looks pretty cool, I have to say. Here's another example where, look, they're mixing and matching. Uh, they've got just a regular, uh, I guess you could call that the white space over here, but then they've got uh, the Photoshop layer effect plus the tilt shift. I mean, very gutsy. The context, all right, so what is this? Well, essentially, this is taking elements um, or anything that's a part of the brand identity and you're also including it outside of the UI design, but inside of the thumbnail. So here's what I mean. Check this out. Look how cool that looks. So it's just kind of giving it context uh, in terms of how it's presenting the UI. Here's another example. And another example. Look at her. She's just like off here randomly. She's not a part of this design. She's either like at church praising Jesus Christ or she's, I don't know, playing basketball or something. Um, but nonetheless, this is what you get when you have dribble in pre presentation. So not to make fun of it that much, but it's actually pretty cool, uh, an interesting way to feature a design. And then finally, I have what I call the chaos, and that's kind of like 
these designs that are just kind of like a smorgasbord of just design and when you look at them your head almost explodes let me show you what i'm talking about look at that i mean we got the tilt shift we got the photoshop layers uh we got a lot of it happening here not sure exactly it's kind of a little it's, it's chaotic it's very busy uh what else do we have oh this is actually not too bad but there is a lot of stuff happening it actually layered a UI on top of a UI that's been like scaled up by 500%. And here's another example. This one I actually kind of like because it's it's pretty simple um, in terms of the execution, but then you have all of this great design. Um, it, it's kind of hard to see where which one begins or where the other one ends. But nonetheless, that's the purpose of Dribble. Really, it's I, I know Dribble gets a lot of hate for I. Uh, the the way that designers kind of present designs but remember it's just for dribble i you're not actually going to hand this i uh, you know this sort of i uh, layout to to a a design client and say hey what do you think about this layout it's kind of just like a cover letter on a resume or some sort it's just you know getting you introduced to the ui in a unique and interesting way now in terms of all um, all six of these different uh trends i guess you can call them one isn't necessarily better over the other. Uh, the very first one, the plain Jane, those all looked great. So it really depends on your UI design and also what you're trying to communicate uh, through how you present it. All right, hopefully you learned something new and maybe just uh, different ways in which you can present your UI designs, specifically for sites like Behance and Dribble. Now, as always, make sure to subscribe if yet you haven't, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.